What is up, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning into the first video of Pompadour Gaming. Uh, my name is Chris Malarkey, but you can call me Mr. M. And my name is Abby Malarkey, but you can call me Lady M. With this video, we'd like to introduce ourselves as well as our channel and let you guys know what to expect from our channel and to learn a little more about us. Uh, so first things first, I'll start it off. Uh, this is me. Uh, as I said before, my name is Chris Malarkey, uh, but you can call me Mr. Ram. That's the name I use for the different gaming stuff, uh, and as well as what the name I'll use on the channel. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm 29 years old, and uh, I grew up in the Washington area of uh, Pennsylvania and lived here all of my life. Uh, I watch way more YouTube than anything else. Uh, I don't know why, just that's my favorite thing to watch. My top three favorite channels uh, in order are Game Theory. Critical Role, and The Axe Man. Uh, and fun fact, if I got to meet any of the people involved in any of those channels, I'd probably act like a pretty, you know, pretty good fanboy. Uh, and I would love the chance to meet any of them, so make that happen. Uh, also, uh, a little couple of fun facts about me. I am a drummer. Have been for 20, uh, 20 years now. Uh, I am a drummer in a metal band called Ambience of Chaos. You should definitely check us out. We have uh, two demos out. Nothing really major, but it's still pretty fun to be able to get out and play. We do play a lot in the area, but we're hoping to bridge out and find other places to play. Another fun fact about me is I am a giant nerd. Like a huge nerd. Have been my entire life. I love comic books. I love anime. Um, anything relating to them. I love going to uh, conventions. You can see a picture of me there at a convention. Um, another fun fact is I prefer DC Comics over Marvel Comics but I prefer the Marvel movies over DC movies. Uh, animes, I do love. Uh, I love Death Note. I love Dragon Ball Z. Um, I love the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and the Pokemon anime, but I think Dragon Ball Z is definitely my top favorite. But I'm always open to new suggestions if anyone has one. So again, my name is Abby Malarkey, and right now I'm currently 28 years old, and I grew up in rural PA. Um, a really teeny tiny little area. It doesn't even have a town name. Um, and I grew up on a farm. We had sheep and we had cows when I was growing up. And I also have two brothers and one sister, all older. Um, so I'm semi new to gaming. Uh, I got really into it whenever I started dating Mr. M over here. And my games have definitely grew to a larger variety. Uh, mostly it was just Mortal Kombat and Mario Kart and stuff like that whenever I was doing it before. Um, so for me, the YouTube channels that I like to watch are The Axe Man, Brandon Ferris, and Watch Mojo. Um, if I got to meet The Axe Man or Brandon, I would fangirl out hardcore for sure. Um, some fun facts about me. I love to craft. I started crocheting whenever I was in high school and I do paper crafting and I will try and paint. I'm not super good at it, but I'll try. And I also made all of the decorations for our wedding that we had back in 2018. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot our wedding anniversary. Um, and uh, I'm also trying to start up our, my own crafting business right now. Um, I also love to cook and bake, um, which is something I got from my mom. It was something that we did together. So Lady uh, M and I were actually married in October of 2018, as she said. We live together uh, with our two cats. Um, the first one is Meridia, the second one is Azora, and you can tell from their names that we're big gaming nerds. Uh, anyone who knows the Elder Scrolls franchise will catch those names immediately. Um, but something else has happened recently. Uh, yes, recently we welcomed someone else into our home, our daughter, Piper. She was born December 10th of 2019, and uh, we just wanted to mention our cats and our daughter. Um, just in case you hear them in the background of our videos, which is really likely considering our cats are super vocal and our baby is teething. Um, and so that's just to give you a heads up and let you know what those noises are. 
So one final thing about us that kind of coincides with this whole channel is we're both gamers. Uh, we've been playing games together since we met. And uh, I've been playing games as far back as I can remember. Gaming is one of my favorite things to do in my free time. Always has been. Um, besides spending time with my family, of course. I love spending time with them. <laughs> but gaming is the close second, let's put it that way. Uh, I have an extensive list of games that I like to play. So what I'll do is I'm going to put them up on the screen. And I'm not going to mention all of them, but you can pause if you feel like it and take a gander at them. Uh, so there's my list of all the games that I like. As for me, uh, as I said before, I haven't been playing games very long. I'm fairly new to most of the games, and I got really into it whenever Mr. M and I started dating because it was a way for us to do things together, um, and it just has blossomed into this love of gaming. Um, so my gaming list is a lot smaller, like much, much smaller, as you'll see. Um, I will say that but some of my favorites on there are the Dragon Age games and the Elder Scrolls games, for sure. Now, with all the talk of gaming, that brings us to one big question. What's this channel about? What's the whole purpose of us starting a channel together? Uh, so what we're actually going to be doing with this channel is we are going to be doing playthroughs. And as you see, we have some consoles and we have PC. We'll do both. Um, but that's the biggest focus that we're going to have on the channel going forward. And we each of are going to have our own segments. I'll have one dedicated to me, and Lady M will have one dedicated to her. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to talk about our segments so you can see exactly what they're about. So first off, my segment is called Challenge Mode. Uh, challenge Mode is going to be interesting. Uh, and what the whole point of it is, um, is it's going to be weird challenges and hurdles to games to make them a lot more difficult and not just like putting it on dif you know the hardest difficulty it's going to be things like well let's uh let's see what we can do that's going to make the game extra hard beyond the difficulty settings and so one way we can do that is with restrictions and limitations so like let's say for example let's play this certain game with only certain items well like with an rpg only using a dagger the entire time through or with a shooter only using a pistol the entire way through. But it can also be things like, I'm going to play this game with you know one eye closed the entire time. Anything like that. Uh, we also are going to have self-imposed goals to the game. So all games have a point for you to play them. Uh, for example, in Skyrim, your, your goal is to take down the dragons and to stop the Civil War. Uh, for Pokemon, it's to beat the Elite Four and to uh, catch them all. But what I want to do is impose goals into the game that aren't part of the main game itself. Something that I have to reach to make the game extra challenging. Like, oh, I have to defeat this particular mission in this amount of time. Or I have to collect this certain number of Pokemon from the Pokemon games. Doesn't necessarily, you know, they're not all going to be the same, but something that's going to be self-imposed to make the game more difficult. And of course, I'm also going to be taking viewer submissions. So if anyone watching has an idea for a game they'd like me to do, I'm always open for it. In every video, we're going to put our email address down, so you can always email us some submissions. Um, now what I'll do is I'm actually going to mention the first two games that will be going to up on Challenge Mode. So the first one you're going to see is a playthrough of either Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. I haven't determined which one I'm going to do yet. Uh, but here's a small breakdown of what you can expect to make it a little bit more challenging. Next, I'm going to have... Arc Genesis, uh, and I've been waiting for that game forever, and I can't wait to get started on it. But here's a small breakdown of what that will have that makes uh, makes it challenging. And secondly, I'm going to show you a few games I have set up for the future. Um, I don't know exactly which one's going to come next, but one of them will come next. So what I'm going to do next is Lady M is going to describe her uh, segments, so she can tell you exactly what's going to be happening. Okay, um, so my segments aren't just one thing. There are actually 12 different segments, uh, one for each month, and they all have their own unique name and their unique style. Um, and there's a listing of them, um, and I'm going to actually go through and break them down a little more. Um, so let's get going on that. So for January, we have JRPG January, and that's Japanese role-playing games. Um, some examples would be the Final Fantasy games, Pokemon, and Kingdom Hearts. Um, next, we'll have First Person February, 
obviously that's going to be first person shooters. Um, I'm really glad we missed out on this and I have a whole year to prepare myself for that because these are by far my worst games that I'm at. Um, so these would include Call of Duty, Halo, and Battlefield. The next one, which is what we're going to be starting with, is MMO March, and that's massive multiplayer online games. Um, these include the Elder Scrolls games, World of Warcraft, and Rift. And the game that I'm actually going to be playing for MMO March is going to be Neverwinter. Um, so I'm really excited to get into that game. It looks really awesome. Uh, the next month is going to be Indie April. And these are going to be indie games um, like Cuphead, Shovel Knight, and Undertale. Um, the next one after that is Roleplay May. And these are going to be our roleplay games. So you can expect to see something like The Elder Scrolls, The Legend of Zelda games, or Dragon Age. Next, we're going to have Jumpman June. And for those of you who don't know, Jumpman is another name for Mario. It's the original name for Mario. So we're going to be playing all Mario games. So it's going to either be Super Mario, Mario Kart, Mario Party. We even might throw in Mario Maker. Who knows? It's going to be a Mario game, though, that whole month. I've never played Mario, so that's going to be interesting for me. Um, next, we're going to have Joystick July. And these are going to be all of our retro games like Donkey Kong, Mega Man, and Tetris. And oh my goodness, there's just a plethora to pick from from those ones. And then we have Adventure August. So these are action adventure games that we'll be di uh, diving into this month. So we can have Batman, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, games like that. And of course, you guys can give me submission ideas on what to play because. This is all about me broadening my gaming horizons, so trying out all these different games because, as you saw, I don't have that many. For September, it's Survival September, so we'll be doing games like Ark, Survival Evolved, Green Hell, Minecraft, which I didn't realize was a survival game. I thought it was just building things. Like, okay. We'll, we'll see. Um, then we're going to have Horror Halloween. This is the only one that does not have the actual name of the month, but we're going to celebrate Halloween all October because that's all October is good for. <laughs> um, so obviously it's going to be horror games, so we'll have Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Until Dawn, and you're probably going to have a lot of like jump scares or anything. Maybe we'll see if we can get a camera. Or maybe not. You, I don't know if I want to be embarrassed by all the jump scares that's going to happen. It's going to be bad. Um, next is Remember November. And these are going to be games featuring anti-heroes. So examples are Thief, Dishonored, Grand Theft Auto. All of these games in the examples I have never played except for the Elder Scrolls games and Dragon Age. These are, it's going to be entertaining and probably really bad the majority of the time. And lastly, we'll have Dex December. So these are going to be card games um, like Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Hearthstone. These ones I have played, but I'm looking forward to playing them. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll even try and get Mr. M on some of these because we do play card games and at the house semi-frequently. We used to. Not anymore. Maybe we'll get back into it. Maybe. Some people are really super competitive in this household. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> and me also. <laughs> uh, so that, everyone, is our channel in a nutshell. Uh, the Challenge Mode episodes will be uploaded every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And the way it's going to work is, since I'm always going to have two games going at once, one week we'll have, uh, for example, starting off will be Pokemon on Monday, Ark on Tuesday, and then Pokemon on Wednesday. The next week it'll flip-flop and have Ark on Monday, Pokemon on Tuesday, and Ark again on Wednesday. And they'll keep going back and forth like that. That way it has an even number of representation for the games. I will always have two games going on at once. So if one ends, you know, say I, I beat Pokemon all the way through and do the game mode that I want to do, 
I will you know stop playing that one obviously, and then another game will take its place. And then once Ark finishes, another game will take its place. There's always going to be two going on. Uh, so the first episode of Challenge Mode is actually going to be available right after this, the first episode of Pokemon. So you guys can see that right as soon as you finish watching this video. Um, my segments will be uploaded on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. Um, and the first episode of MMO March will be uploaded on March 5th. And um, just to let you guys know, we at Pompadour Gaming strive to be as family friendly as possible, but there may be words used, situations discussed in games that are played that some viewers may not find suitable for their children, so viewer discretion is advised. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I, we hope that you guys like everything that's on our channel. We can't wait to bring you guys some content. Uh, we all hope you really enjoy it, and so please let us know if you always enjoy it. You know, definitely give a like if you do, subscribe, ring a bell, give us a, a comment, anything you can do. And then you can always uh, email us a suggestion for a game to play um, for, you know, one of the segments Ladium has, or you can email me a suggestion for a challenge you think I should play with a game. The games that I play don't have to be new games, they can be old games, it doesn't matter. My, my realm is, is completely open. I will even play games that I don't even have as a favorite, uh, as long as it can make some good content and make, uh, make something you guys would enjoy. Uh, but with that, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you guys uh, liking our video more. See ya!